This is Dr. Samir Islam. I want to thank you for joining me today for my uh, Facebook Live. So today we'll be discussing our topic uh, for these next couple of weeks, which is fatty liver disease. It's a very common disease that a lot of people have, and they may not be aware of it, and it's causing more and more complications from long-standing injury to the liver. So today we're talking about symptoms and diagnosis, and how do we know that you may have fatty liver disease. So as a summary, keep in mind that fatty liver disease is the buildup of fat within the liver. It's probably the most common cause of liver problems here in the United States, and it's typically due to either weight gain, diet, obesity, or the combination of all three. The problem with fatty liver disease is that if it's left untreated and you continue to have inflammation, this can lead to cirrhosis or liver failure, which may need to have you go through a liver transplant. There's also a risk of developing liver cancer if you end up having long-term inflammation from fatty liver disease. And the causes are pretty obvious. Obesity, diabetes, high cholesterol lipids, different medications can also cause fat to accumulate within the liver and then lack of exercise. All these are related to obesity, which is a huge problem that we have here in the United States. And some of the risks associated with fatty liver disease include things like cirrhosis or liver failure, like I mentioned before, liver cancer, cardiovascular disease, including heart failure uh, or having a heart attack, developing diabetes, and also having chronic kidney disease as well. So what are symptoms from fatty liver disease? And this is the big kicker, is that there typically are not symptoms. You typically don't know that you have fatty liver disease until it's too late. And this is why it's a big problem. There's a lot of people who have a lot of other comorbid conditions, such as diabetes, heart failure, uh, they may have had a heart attack in the past, or they're obese, and they may, not, they may not realize that they're having damage to the liver right now, because the symptoms from fatty liver disease are typically none. You usually don't know that you have fatty liver disease. It's a silent killer. And so the way we can diagnose this is that we have to do routine blood tests. We have to check to see if you have this, because you will typically not present with symptoms. So we can rule out, we can do simple blood tests just to see how the liver is looking. We can see there's inflammation within the liver, we have to rule out other causes for that inflammation, including things like hepatitis or even alcoholic liver disease. And also, we can do imaging. Imaging is also a very important key to help us determine if you have fatty liver disease. It lets, it let us, it lets us see, number one, if you have it, but also number two, the extent of damage that we can see on imaging tests, whether it's an ultrasound or even a CT scan or an MRI of the liver. This allows us to see how the liver works, I'm sorry, how the liver looks, the amount of fat within the liver, and whether we can see some of the long-term damage that can occur with recurrent inflammation from fatty liver, such as liver cirrhosis, liver failure, or even uh, liver cancer. And for some patients, we have to do a liver biopsy. And this is not standard. Not everyone who has fatty liver disease needs a liver biopsy, but there are some patients who we are concerned that there may be more extensive damage than what we can see based on the blood tests or the imaging tests. So we may have to get a sample of your liver, in which we can review under the microscope. Now the liver biopsy, unfortunately, is the only real test for us to know the extent of the damage, and actually if we can see actual scarring in the liver itself. We can maybe guess you may have scarring based on imaging or blood work, but the liver biopsy by looking under the microscope is the only way for sure that we can know if you actually have any damage that we can see when you have fatty liver disease. So in summary, fatty liver disease is becoming more and more common in the United States. The biggest issue with this is that the symptoms are typically none. You don't know that you have fatty liver disease until it's way too late. And so our goal is to try and be preemptive about this. And I would encourage you to be preemptive as well. If you have some of the other comorbid conditions, obesity, diabetes, uh, heart disease, Ask your healthcare provider to be screened for fatty liver disease because this may be causing damage in your liver. You may not even be aware of it. It's important for you to be on top of that early so we can get you on effective treatment. The way we can diagnose this is, is with uh, laboratory tests and imaging, but the uh, best way for us to know the extent of the liver damage is with the liver biopsy, though this is not needed for everyone who has fatty liver disease. So come